You know, 1998 was an awesome year. We had the Game Boy Killer, Metal Gear Solid, Resident Evil 2, and also Boss Bottled by Hugo Boss, also known as Boss Number 6. Yeah, roll that off your tongue. So yeah, this is really the first proper scent I got. I think I was, what, 18 or something when I got this one? And it was when I started to think, damn, this is really going to be a big thing for me. And I absolutely love this. And I still do to this day. I mean, look look how much I've used of this 100ml bottle. It pretty much says it all. So yeah. So let's get started on bottle design. This one is about as classic as it gets regarding Boss. 90s style. You've got Boss there. We have Hugo Boss on the side. It looks upside down, but if you looked at it from there... Hugo Boss. Oh wait. <laughs> Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss. <laughs> so, we got a sticker on the bottom and we have this nice cap. Nothing mind-blowing, but that's about it. So, how does this one spray? Is the spray very good or a piece of shit? Spray is actually brilliant. Really nice mist comes out. I love the spray on this. The whole bottle is just quality. Now, before Hugo Boss became mediocre as fuck, it used to be really good because he put out stuff like this and Boss Number Boss Number One. You know, good stuff. Stuff people actually gave a fuck about. Yeah. Notice that people stopped giving a fuck about it and sales aren't as high. Yeah, well done. Go back to college, Mr. CEO. So, how does this one smell? As usual, new trend. I'm going to start to talk about the notes from Fragrantica. So, let's look here. Blah, 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 blah. The fresh and fruity top notes of apple and citrus are perfectly balanced with floral and spicy heart, dominated by pelargonium, warm cinnamon and cloves. The base notes are very masculine, sandalwood, vetiver and precious cedar. Not just regular cedar, precious cedar, my precious. <laughs> so, really nice. That apple citrusy top is really gorgeous. The whole thing is just perfect. They got the smell, 10 out of 10. You know, this is, this is going to be a 10 out of 10, because it's fantastic. There's, everything in this is done perfect. It's, it's fantastic. It smells, smells really nice. It's that way where it can be warm with a suit. It's romantic. It's nice enough for clubbing. Versatility, this thing is a 10. There's no way you can't wear this, you know? And it just smells so damn classy and so top-notch. I mean, literally, Hugo Boss is owned by Procter & Gamble. When I sniffed this, I couldn't even believe it. This is too good for Procter & Gamble, because Procter & Gamble are cheap-ass hoes. And cheap-ass hoes don't exactly put out good stuff. So, yeah, so smell-wise, it's excellent. Now let's talk about performance. How does this one perform? Longevity, I get 10 hours to 12, averaging it out. But to be a bit safe, I'm going to say about 8, about 8 to 12 hours. It's a bit finicky. It depends on the weather and stuff, this one. But 8 hours minimum, most of the time. Yeah, easily. Projection wise, this one is an R1 that you think oh, it's not that heavy. It's medium, it's just above average projection. It's almost that heavy, but not quite there. So projection is still pretty good. It does get noticed. It's not a skin scent. And it projects for at least a good four hours before it starts to die down. So projection longevity are pretty decent with this one. So yeah. Now age group. What age can you wear this? Um I think you can wear this at age 18 and up. You probably could wear it in high school, but it does have a sort of masculine base to it. It is a bit macho and a little bit on the masculine side for, for 16. I'd say late teens and onwards you'd be fine with this one. And yeah, late teens and onwards you'd be fine. I mean, you could wear this at 80. If you were 80 years old, not only would you be, you know, need to stay in good shape to be that old nowadays, but uh, <laughs> you don't get retired till that age. <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, yeah, any age. Uh, after late teens. So, how many sprays with this one? I'm going to recommend four to five sprays, obviously just for situation and weather, but you should be fine with around four to five. Five is about it, you'll be fine. And just for the weather stuff, no issue. So, we've covered that. Season wise, where can you wear this one? Can you wear it in spring? Yes. Can you wear it in summer? Yes. Can you wear it in autumn? Yes. Can you wear it in winter? Yes. Versatility, this thing is up the ass. This thing's fucking fantastic. It's strong enough to put up in colder weather, but light enough that you could just sit and go. And that's you for summer, you know? Or even, don't even need to do that. Just tap, tap, and dab. There you go. I should make that song. Tap, tap, and dab, and dab. Ooh, ooh. Tap, tap, and dab. Do, 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 do. Ah. Do the leg shake. Ah. Do the leg shake. It's too cloying. Do the leg shake. <laughs> 
Okay, we're done. We've done the leg shake. We've done the leg shuffle. Woo! <laughs> so all seasons, this is fine. Strong enough for cold weather, light enough for hotter weather. Excellent. So, <laughs> do the leg shake. <laughs> Never going to hear the end of this now, am I? Yeah. I'm not the you fuzzball meister. Um, so, moving on. Situation-wise, can you wear this to work? Yes. This really shines in the office environment, you know? You get the shirt, the tie, sitting at your computer, you get the nice shoes on, formal wear. This absolutely shines, you know? This is like the ultimate work scent. It just smells... It makes me think of a guy in the office in a white shirt. Pristine, clean, you know? Sort of great. Has his shit together. He has a selection of ties. He chooses his tie. He doesn't pick up that one tie. He chooses it because he's a stylish motherfucker. Basically, everything I'm not. Look at me with my Adidas tracksuit on. If this was Linston the Galilean, I'd be giving myself a slap. <laughs> so, yeah, work fine. So you're on a date. Um, Date-wise, this will work for any date. You go into a nice restaurant, it's fine. You go to the cinema, it's fine. You go into Nando's, God forbid, that's still fine. You go into the park, that's fine. Um, you join the Mile High Club, that's also fine. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Perfect for that. Going clubbing, perfect for clubbing. Going to a high-end venue, fine. Going to your local student bar, Fine. Any any place. This this works. Fine. Casual wear. Jeans, leather jacket, tracksuit. Going to McDonald's. You know. Um, going to get some wings. Going to the cinema. Going to the pub or a couple of bars. Fine for that as well. Again, informal wear. You're dressing up. You get a suit. You get a wedding, an anniversary, something special that you need to look the look the absolute part for. You're winning the public masturbator of the year award. Um, doing the best leg shake ever awards. Do the leg shake. Ah, ah. <laughs> Do the leg shake. You know you want to. Da, da, da. Ah, ah. Okay, come on, can go on forever. <laughs> 998. Oh, <laughs> so enough. Okay, enough leg shake. That's done. Okay, here we go. So, formal wear. <clears throat> Do the. <sighs> Resist. Um, so, yeah, works fine with a suit. Good formal event. Oscars. Leonardo DiCaprio probably wore this when he finally got his Oscar and then he woke up and realised it was all a dream <coughs> inception um, so yeah, so really good scent, smells fantastic, excellent sprayer, excellent bottle, great performance outstanding versatility, fucking 10 out of 10, this thing is just does nothing bad about this at all this is the ultimate boss scent this is what boss should be about. Not that fucking Nets throw out flankers left, right and centre. No, that isn't quality. Do you see Ferrari making flankers of their cars? Do you see Mercedes pumping out flanker after flanker? No, you don't. That's why they're classy brands, because they're fucking exclusive as shit. Jesus, man. I haven't got a fancy business degree and I can see this shit. I mean, fuck me. Procter & Gamble can produce this quality piece of art, but they can't produce a decent Dolce & Gabbana fucking scent. Without watering it down and fucking it up like the original, yeah? D&G poor Rome, we all know about that shit. If it says made in UK, you throw that shit away. So, <laughs> so anyhow, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Any questions you have, leave them in the comments. Send me a YouTube message. If you're lucky enough to not have a Google Plus account, you can contact me on Facebook. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, do the leg shake. I mean, eh, keep on smelling fly. Do the leg shake, you know you want to Do the leg shake, let's move those feet Do the leg shake Do the leg shake <sighs> Do the leg shake, let's move the body Do the leg shake and move the feet Do the leg shake <sighs> Do the leg shake